Hi, my name's Ed Lee and this is the Ski Yodel Guide to Teen. Ski Yodel has a network of uh, essentially locals throughout the Alps who can give you all of the information you need to help make the most of your time in the mountains. And that's why I'm here. I've got almost 30 years experience of doing seasons in the Alps. So I decided to team up with Ski Yodel to help impart some of that experience in the resorts that I know best and this week it's the turn of Teen. Now a long way back Teen used to be regarded as the ugly sister in the relationship between Val d'Isere and Teen who essentially make up the Espas Kili area. It was a new build resort a little bit like Val Terren with these concrete high rises but in time it's grown into that architecture and there's some really beautiful buildings there. The resort is split into four or maybe five big chunks actually. Val is the highest chunk. Then you've got Le Lac and Le Lavache kind of together. Then you've got Team Le Bois and Team Le Brevier down at the bottom. They're all linked together uh, and they've got very different styles. But for me, it's characterized as one of those resorts that does everything. It's got really high altitude skiing. It's got a really solid lift infrastructure unbelievable free riding a really solid park some great family peace for all levels and obviously an enormous area absolutely vast you can barely ski to the other side of it in one day so there's something for everyone uh in terms of where you should be looking to go and ski there's one of the best tips head to the tovier lift it opens a, a little bit earlier than everywhere else and it takes you right up to the top of uh the resort. It's in the, not the top of the resort, but it's in the center between Val d'Isere and Teen. And from there, you can see the whole resort. You can look around, see what the snow is doing, see how crowded it is, and decide where you want to go. Uh, if the resort's busy, definitely head up to the Agui Percy. Uh, it's right next to the Eye of the Needle. And from 2,800 meters up there, you can do 1,300 meters of vertical down to Team Le Brevier in the Vallon de Sache. It's a huge free ride itinerary and you will find solitude in there no matter how busy it is. So definitely check that out. If you're looking for good coffee, first thing, uh, you can head to the corner if you're in Val Claret or you can head to Le Jam if you're in uh, Team Le Lac great Italian coffee to start your day the right way. Um, if you're looking for really good, quick food, head to Teen Cuisine in Lalac. Great fast food, uh, Asian style, really tasty, really healthy, well worth checking out. Um, if you're looking for somewhere for a long, maybe liquid lunch, check out the uh, Pignata in Val Claret, or you can head to the uh, Escal Blanche in Lalac. Both of them huge sunny terraces that will soak up an afternoon and a lot of white wine. Uh, at Ski, no question, head to the loop bar right next to all to Teen Cuisine. So you can kind of do fluids and foods right next to each other there. Great atmosphere as well. Um, aside from that, uh, you can go any time in the season. You've got the Funival there and the Glacier up at the Grand Mott. Really good early and late season skiing. So no matter what time of year it is, you will find what you're looking for in Teen. Uh, if you want any more information on any more resorts, head over to skiyodel.com. There's loads of local tips like me for incredible self-catering accommodation in their network of resorts across the Alps.